This is the story of Lady Montague, who introduced into Europe, and particularly to the United Kingdom, a process called variolation. This was an early way to deal with one of the three major diseases at the time, smallpox. Bubonic plague was a 14th century disease, known as the Black Plague, and syphilis was another bacterial. These, both of these are bacterial diseases. Smallpox is a viral disease. These were the big three killers diseases, diseases in Europe. Lady Montague was married to the then British ambassador who was stationed in Turkey in the ancient city of Constantinople, which today is known as Istanbul. In, at the age of 23, Lady Montague herself had contracted one of the two forms of smallpox. She contracted the mild version, otherwise known as variola minor. Variola minor gives you mild symptoms uh, and causes what is now known as pock, pock marking, that is that she had scars on her face from having the disease. Her, her brother and her best friend Anne both contracted the serious form of smallpox, variolar major, and in fact died from those. Whilst in Constantinople, Lady Montague observed local people using a technique that is known to have started in China hundreds of years before. Smallpox creates blisters. And in those blisters is pus and the disease-causing organism, the virus of smallpox. When a person has the mild version of the disease, the pus would be taken from the wound. A person's arm would then be scarred scratched using an instrument like this one and then you would inoculate or as we say vaccinate with uh, the pus the consequence of which was that the person who had had the smallpox rubbed into their wound would then undertake what we have learned is called a primary a primary response and this meant that they had produced lots of antibodies and white cells to fight smallpox. If then they were infected by the major form of the disease, the antibodies that were already present and the white cells already present would kill off the variola major, protecting the person from the disease. Lady Montague's method was reported in England in 1717, but was not widely accepted, and in fact was only adopted uh, by the population after uh, members of the royal family at the time began to also use the technique to protect their children. Even though this sounds very good, there were a number of cases in which the inoculation using this technique called variolation actually caused smallpox and people died. Therefore, it was uh, later, after Montague's death, that Edward Jenner introduced the process which we properly know as vaccination, which replaced variolation.